Hey guys, Diver Don here. Check this out. We have the new Hoverstar AquaJet H2 underwater propulsion vehicle. We're going to do an unboxing video for you, but obviously I already put it together. It's because I couldn't wait and I took it in the lake last night. I charged it up, took it in Lake Superior, put it through some paces. I'm going to show you a little bit of footage um, of that. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. My Hoverstar came in a rather plain box, plain brown box. Uh, opening it up on the top, you can see it has a nice bag, which is padded, and it'll hold everything, um, bring everything to the lake with you. You've got a pump, which you need to open the top, and it looks like you have the owner's manual, which is nice. Not everything comes with an owner's manual nowadays. And a swim cap, which, well, I don't need a swim cap, maybe you do. It came, comes with extra O-rings, which is nice, uh, some Vaseline, and a key. Okay, you've got your Allen key right there. People call it an Allen wrench. You need that to open the machine a charger okay uh, the first time you charge it you should charge it overnight give it a good complete charge four to six hours and uh, yeah this is rated to go 5.6 miles per hour that's fast uh, it must have a hefty battery here's the battery and it's, it's pretty heavy Supposed to last for 50 to 100 minutes, so. Okay, what else do we have in here? Um, oh, the weight. There's a, a weight to, uh, you put over the battery. So, it's still positively buoyant in case you lose it. Uh, it'll float to the surface. Uh, but there's straps on the wings, so I don't know how you could lose it unless you take both of your straps off for some reason. But it does float, even with that weight in it. Okay. Take a look at this. Really like the design. Very unique. Uh, the wings, you know, it helps you cut through the water and um, it really does work well. It's okay, I think I'm going to stop it right here. Uh, you get the idea. You have to, uh, some assembly required. So first thing you should do, you should charge the battery. There's a little pin there to help you line up the two cables. Uh, you screw it down, tighten it up, and then uh, plug it in the wall. Um, you'll see on the uh, charger itself, it has a red indicator if it's charging. When it turns green, the battery's charged. Uh, to put the wings on the fuselage, you just line up the two very large pins and push. Do the same for the other side. This is the right side because uh, as you're looking at it here, this is how you would operate it. And then to disassemble, there are two pins or recesses. You push those in and off come the arms. It's you know, the, the wings, real easy. Then you can pack it in your bag and take it to the beach or the pool. So we're gonna install the battery. I charged it last night. So we take off the port here, plug, we open up the locks, we apply internal pressure with the pump that's applied. There we go, the top pops off. You'll see there's two O-rings, looks like they've already greased it up. and. Now we have our compartment available to us, open to us, and this is where we put in the battery. And we have our battery here. I charged it up last night. And here we just have two plugs. Pretty straightforward stuff. Another one. Okay. And then our weight seems to go right above it. You've 
grease. Good Vaseline or orange juice over it. Silicone. <clears throat> now this is the power switch. Looks like we have 100% battery. I love this feature. I'll give you a nice close-up. And then on this side is the the gears, if you will. You've got low, medium, and high. You press it. That's really quiet, actually. I like that. Press it again. A little faster, one more time. 5.6 miles per hour. That's just incredible. Let's go take it in the lake. So I mentioned how the hover star comes with a case, but it's actually a backpack. It's really kind of nice. You can carry your scooter to the dive site. I'll show you how to set up in a moment. Okay, here we are, Matt's in Lower Harbor Park, checking out the new Hoverstar Aquajet H2. Got some fans back here.
So, as a quick recap, last night I took the uh, Hoverstar H2 out and had a blast. This thing is really well built. I love the design. It's very unique, the wings. I feel they helped me cut through the water and do some barrel rolls and some spins and things that I don't know if I could have accomplished with my other scooters. I really like the design of this. The battery indicator is really nice. Gives you an idea when you need to get out, right? Um, the straps, I use this one for the power. Obviously, this one, because I have to equalize as I go down in the water column, scuba divers have to do that. I wasn't using this strap so much, but uh, I was certainly using that speed button in the back. Um, I really like the 5.6 miles per hour, the top speed. It really got going. I mean, you can probably tell in some of these, some of those maneuvers. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're interested in the Hoverstar, there's a link down below. You can get 40% uh, off if you purchase one using my last name in the checkout, Fossbender. So um, thanks for watching. As always, dive safe.